Aloha, let's connect to our breath. Connecting to the divine within, to the divines that surrounds us so we can properly receive this message. Awakening the dormant spaces within the mind, allowing to, the blood to flow into places they haven't been in a very long time. We're going to release with the buzz of the bees to tap into that internal medicine, allowing them to pollinate, allowing us to bloom, pushing the light going down our spine, letting our core rise, the warrior within. So it's Libra season and the moon is in Virgo. The moon in Virgo is going to be exposing a lot of things around you that was based on false belief systems, a lot of false people around you, a lot of false mindsets, false beliefs. Jupiter is going to be going direct on the 18th and whatever you've been putting out whatever works you've been doing whatever thoughts that's been running in your head is going to be manifested in 2022 so we have the Shaolin master first be graceful be graceful in movement and in action <clears throat> especially now with this new moon coming up Words are going to be like weapons, so we have to be mindful about the things we say, be the light, learning from your spiritual experiences. Have you been learning from them, or have you been trying to fight? Set your sights higher. It's telling you to set your sights higher, especially during these times. There's a lot of abundance coming in. Release the old and rest. That's what this is about, really releasing. Releasing, knowing that whatever you're going through, you're learning. It's a learning experience. Enter, track down your fears and desires, and Lord, take charge with authority. So really tracking down what you want and staying focused. Risk. Be aware or you will have to be aware. Do not deny the risk and hazards you see. So I'm feeling like somebody's in a, in a defense mode. Somebody's defending their past self. They're not putting it to rest. We're not putting something to rest, an old mindset. We have to be graceful in this moment. Because if we're going to stay stuck in that mindset, in the... Yeah, it's going to manifest. Be yourself fully. And you are without compare, a true winner of the only contest that matters. Self, yeah. You don't have to be in competition with anybody. That could be that Shaolin master. Somebody's feeling like they're having to compete with their old self. Manifestations. Soon you may be manifesting the goal you focus your spiritual energies upon. So it's your thoughts, yeah? Because you could be taking action saying certain things, but it's the energy, it's the spiritual energies. Procrastination, number seven. Stop focusing on your problems and excuses and take a small step to do something constructive. Yeah, beware. Be aware or you will have to beware. Release the old and rest. Stop focusing on past shit. Stop focusing on the problems. Stop making excuses for for whatever's holding you back. Take accountability also. Limits. Know that the limiting attitudes are often formed as a protective reaction to the past. Yeah, so somebody's really in defensive mode. 
trying to defend their spiritual experiences, trying to defend their fears, trying to defend what they desire. Enchantment. We are enchanted when the muses sing the art of spirit into us. Hmm. So somebody's enchanted by someone. But you really have to allow your old self to be put to rest. The old mindset, the old belief systems. Hmm. Somebody could be enchanted by the empress. I've seen the empress at the bottom of the deck. So somebody has to walk away and and abandon something that what was. Abandon the past. Abandon something that wasn't working out. You see the risk. You see the red flags. It wasn't the two of cups. It wasn't a divine partnership. It wasn't a good friendship. The friendship was built on worship. Damn, why is that there? Five of Cups. Why do I all... Okay. The friendship was built on the Five of Cups. Worrying about the past. Okay, so maybe somebody had to walk away from a friend because they are still stuck in the past. That could be you, okay? Yeah, you keep reminiscing. Reminiscing on the past. Trying to reunite with someone from your past. Someone who brought in a lot of challenges and obstacles for you. Someone who saw you as a competition. But this could be you trying to compete with someone from your past. Someone who... I don't know. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Huh. Yeah, but this could also be you not putting the old shit to rest. You're reminiscing on all the bad shit. You're reminiscing on everything that went wrong. Reminiscing on things that didn't work out. <sighs> the chariot, quick change. So you could be even remembering... Having some past life memories come up. Wow, quick change. Okay, so this could also be somebody learning from their past. So they walked away, right? Walked away from the unstable friendships, unstable partners, surroundings. Moving away from the challenges and obstacles. Receiving these DNA upgrades, going through the ascension process, you're tapping into your intuition. You're tapping into your intuition, and then we have the Daughter of Swords. Somebody who's been through a lot of shit. And maybe you're watching somebody because that's going on the enchantment card you're watching somebody who's taking charge with authority and you're really enchanted by them you're watching somebody who built themselves up from walk, rock bottom and that could also be you okay yeah you're definitely watching somebody though and someone who's in the spotlight maybe you're watching Someone online and you're really enchanted by them and they're giving you fresh hope. They're making you feel like you can manifest these wishes that you put out there because you see how they were able to shine in the dark and you're seeing that you too can do the same. If they can do it, so can I. If I can do it, so can you. Yeah, somebody's transforming. You're watching this. Mm -hmm. The 
here. So this could be you coming up from rock bottom, building yourself up, tapping into your intuition, moving past old friendships, old partnerships that seen you as a competition. And you're making your wishes come true, gaining hope. Hmm, a choice. We have God of Swords and a choice. So you have a choice to make. Hmm. Yeah. Goddess of Wands. I think you're definitely watching someone who's very passionate about what they do and you want to connect with them. You're watching them tap into their feminine and masculine energies. Uh-huh. You see a lot of abundance within them. You see the wheel turning. And this could be you. They're giving you hope. A change. You see them Breaking curses, breaking through these old cycles. Yes, watching the Empress. The birth of a new cycle. The birth of something new. Ooh. Justice. Libra season. You could be discovering them now. But the scale is being balanced. Some sort of truth coming out. The truth that you see them, the truth that they see you. What's going on the star card? Let me see. Somebody's worried. Somebody's feeling overwhelmed. Partnership. See, somebody wants a partnership, whether this is you or the other person. It's not you. I mean, wait, hold up. Hmm. So either you're pretending you don't see them or they're pretending they don't see you. but And that's making you kind of confused, leaving you stuck. You don't know what to decide because nobody made an offer. So you're just going to stay there and continue to work, continue to enjoy what you do. Oh, this kind of went left because I'm like channeling a bunch of different energies. Yeah. So somebody feels like they can't. A lot of blindfolds. A lot of people are trying to act like they don't see you. Maybe you're acting like you don't see someone and that's keeping you restricted. That's keeping you tied down. It's like you see somebody enjoying their work. You're seeing them work on themselves. And you want to you want to collaborate with them. You see them as the empress. But you're stuck. Yeah. You see them as the empress. You see that they're blessed. The divines are continuing to pour into their cup. A healthy relationship. This is a healthy relationship. Temperance, balance, self-control. Oh, wow. Wow. Ten of Swords in reverse. Heavy burdens. So somebody has to speak up on how they feel because it's becoming a heavy burden. It's making them feel stressed out and exhausted. Yeah, they're trying to decide what they want to do. 